Sedans are sort of like cargo shorts. Practical, but ultimately deeply uncool. There's no better way of telling the world that you've given up than pulling those bad boys on. You might as well lie on your back and put them on both legs at a time like a toddler while you're at it. Or buy a sedan. Crossovers, however, are where it's at. Nobody wants to buy a sedan anymore, so Toyota is sending the Avalon to the great scrap heap in the sky at the end of this year. Fear not, Toyota lovers, because the Japanese manufacturer is replacing it with the famous top-tier model that we Americans haven't had access to since 1972. This is the 2023 Toyota Crown, and here are the top five things you need to know about it. In fifth place, we have the two available hybrid powertrains, very Toyota. The first is a standard fourth generation hybrid system consisting of a two and a half liter naturally aspirated four pot and two electric motors. Toyota, unfortunately, did not provide power output figures for this engine, most likely because it did not want to detract from the real star of the show. The big news here is the all new hybrid max powertrain, which sounds a little bit like a supplement used by Jim Bros. In reality, it's a hybrid powertrain that consists of a turbocharged 2.4 liter four banger and two electric motors. According to Toyota, the combined power output is 323 horsepower, making it one of the most entertaining hybrids ever. In fourth place, we have the Hybrid Max's gearbox. The standard hybrid is coupled to a CVT transmission, and that's perfectly fine. But CVTs and fun aren't usually used in the same sentence. The Hybrid Max is connected to a good old fashioned six speed automatic transmission. You thought we were gonna say manual, huh? According to Toyota, this will make the crown sporty and exhilarating. We'll reserve comment, but on paper, it at least looks better than the CVT. Both models will use an e-all-wheel drive system. They'll have the internal combustion engine and one electric motor up front, and another electric motor at the back. The two have no mechanical connection, and the power split is done entirely via the car's electric overlord. Sitting comfortably in third place, we have the Crown's split personality. While we are impressed with the Max's power output, a hybrid's main mission is fuel efficiency. This is a Toyota after all. On the standard hybrid, the power can be provided 100% by the front or 80% from the rear motors. Both models come as standard with normal, eco, and sport driving modes and an all-electric mode for short bursts. The front motor is also on torque fill duty, taking some strain off the engine when it's lagging. Per Toyota, the results are impressive. Average fuel consumption is 38 miles per gallon for the standard hybrid and 28 miles per gallon for the hybrid max. Not bad considering the performance potential of the max. When you're not being Captain Planet, however, you can engage Sport Plus, which adds more weight to the steering and sharpens the throttle response. The hybrid max has adaptive suspension and in Sport Plus mode, it'll keep the car as flat as possible through the twisties. Second place goes to the tech. You can't go calling something a crown and give it manually operated windows. So there should be enough luxury to satisfy somebody worthy of wearing a crown. Makes sense? All here? Good. The crown is available in three trim levels, XLE, Limited, and Platinum. All models get power adjustable heated front seats, dual zone climate control, and a 12.3 inch touchscreen that has all of the latest connectivity features. You can also engage with the car via the intelligent assistant by simply saying, hey, Toyota, and following it up with a question or statement. For example, you can say, I'm cold, and the car will heat up. Or you can ask, how can a loving God cause such agony? In which case, the vehicle will just turn the wipers on or something. First place, if you hadn't guessed by now, goes to the design. Though not everyone in our office agrees the crown is handsome. Words were exchanged, some of which can't be taken back. Looking at you, YouTube guy. At least you can't call it boring. Like most Toyota sedans from, call it about a decade ago. Toyota dealerships used to sell cars by the foot. You go in and say, well, I need about 15 feet of car. And the salesman would go, certainly, sir. Let me show you the Camry. The Crown is obviously a mashup of crossover, sedan, and hatch. Toyota even says the ride height is somewhere between an SUV and a sedan. That massive Jaws-like grille is a bit much, sure, but the slim exterior lights and dual-tone color scheme are sensational. Will it work? Only time will tell whether the American audience will settle for something between a sedan and a crossover. But people buy the X6, so anything is possible.